horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. For days, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had been on the trail of Ace Martin and Windy Grant, two of the most elusive and wanted confidence men in the West. What do you think, Tonto? Martin and Grant stopped here, Kim Savvy. Maybe one hour ago. Rocks still warm from fire. An hour ago. That means they probably crossed into the Arizona Territory by now. You think them suspect we still follow trail? I doubt it. We lost a good deal of time when they backtracked to Batesville. Their tracks indicate they've been traveling much more slowly ever since. As though they felt perfectly safe. Lucky we find men in Batesville who remember them right in, stop at post office. What do you think and package them pick up? I wish I knew, Tom. Money, perhaps. Information from a Confederate. Anything that Martin receives in the mail is apt to be both important and dangerous. We'd better be on our way. If we're lucky, we may be able to catch up with them by noon. So this is the Arizona Territory. Don't look much different than any of them full-fledged states we got run out of. I thought that you... Don't think, Wendy. You might strain something. Oh, now, see here, Ace. I... There ought to be a ranch house around here someplace. Yeah, I wonder if that masked man and the engine are still on our trail. Not a chance. Well, I'm not so sure. I've never seen a man hang on so stubborn in all my life. Maybe we made a mistake to waste a full afternoon in Batesville waiting for those papers Digger sent. Those papers, my friend, could make us millionaires. Millionaires. You heard me. Those plans could work here in this territory. The laws are still flexible, still being made. We'll make them to suit us. Just like that, huh? Those papers aren't worth dirt without a rich man, an important man, a man who's a thief at heart to ram around him through. Where are you going to find a man like that? Right down there, Wendy. This one isn't any better than the rest. It isn't easy choosing a new brand. What's called for is something big. Something to go with the name of Halstead. Something that shows the way I feel. The way I am. You know, sometimes I wish you could talk, Stag. Oh, although it's better that you can't. That way you can't go around blabbing about some of the things I've done to accumulate my land. Well, what is it now? Get rid of him, Stag. Why that? Hold it. Let me handle this. Tell him to put on his gun, Mr. Halstead. We want to talk to you. You wouldn't shoot a man who came to make you rich, would you, Mr. Halstead? I'm already rich. Shoot them, boy. They're trespassing. But I can help you get more land, Mr. Halstead. Land? Did you say land, son? Put up your gun, boy. Well, don't just stand out there. Come in close and tell me about that land. You don't know us, Mr. Halstead. My name is Ace Martin, and this is Wendy, my partner. Uh, could be. I'm glad to meet you. Now, you were talking about land. About land. I'm talking about a big piece of land, Mr. Halstead. Say, the whole Arizona Territory. <laughs> You're talking crazy now. <laughs> Would you have called Aaron Burr crazy? Aaron Burr? You mean that fellow back about 1800 who killed Alexander Hamilton? Everybody remembers that duel from history. Most people forget that Aaron Burr was a master politician. Few people ever knew that Aaron Burr wanted to be a king. Hmm. Appears he picked the wrong country for that, huh? <laughs> he didn't want this whole country for his kingdom, just uh, the Southwest Territory. They call you a cattle baron, Mr. Halstead. Wouldn't the title king suit you better? Oh, quit gumming around, son. Get to the point. Here's the point, Mr. Halstead. Those were Aaron Burr's plans for a kingdom. The whole setup. Which key political figures to bribe? The kind of laws to get passed? A step sheet to an empire. Well, these plans are 50 years old. True, Mr. Halstead. But with a few adaptations, they could still be made to work today. Where'd you get him? From a friend of mine back east. He was tearing down an old house to clear some land. 
He found them in one of the walls. Nobody else on Earth knows that they exist. Well, why'd you bring them to me? Because only a wealthy and powerful man could carry those plans through. And you're the richest and the most powerful man in all the territory. Well, uh, what was you figuring to get out of this, son? The men who help you should wind up mighty important, don't you think? Rich and important. I could guarantee that if I go through with the scheme. These aren't all the pages. Where's the rest? The digger's bringing them out from the east. He's the friend I mentioned. Coming on the next stage. He was afraid we might try to double-cross him. He knows that these plans are no good unless we have all of them. Hmm. That makes three of you to be cut in, huh? Too many. Well, Digger's all right. He can be trusted. Isn't that so? No, too many. An Easterner around. Cause talk. Questions. Now, if he wasn't around, well... Are you suggesting that we kill Digger? No, no nothing of the kind. I do things legal, son. Well, almost. But I can't get into this thing if this Digger is involved. But if Digger were, uh, well, out of the picture? Well, that's a different story. But he's alive and he has got the rest of the plans. Digger's your friend. I only met him once. He's not a real close friend of mine. No, 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 boys, don't let me put no ideas into your heads. I appreciate you coming to me, but here's your papers. Just let's forget the whole thing. No, no, now you hang on to those plans, Mr. Halstead. We've got a stage to meet. We'll be back. There's a ranch down below. The tracks seem to lead straight to it. I may see two men in yard, but them not Martin and Parton. No, they aren't. We circle ranch house, pick up trail on the other side. Yes, Tonto. If Wendy and Ace have stopped there, I think we'd better find out why. Bon's over. More like it, eh, boy? A <laughs> uh, crown. The king's crown. Mask. Hold your fire. We're friends. Well, what are you waiting for, boy? Sorry I had to do that, mister. Well, you're the fastest drawn man I ever come across. Kind of ashamed you, didn't he, Stig? But you're making a mistake, you know. I don't have any money. I don't want your money. All we want is some information. Information? Huh. Well, you're the first outlaw I ever come across would settle for that. Tonto and I aren't outlaws. Well, uh, when you're wearing a mask, what else am I supposed to think? This mask has always been on the side of law and order. Well, I doubt that. But you hold a gun, go ahead. My friend and I have been on the trail of a pair of confidence men. Ace Martin and Wendy Grant. We followed their trail here to your ranch. Ace Martin, uh, confidence men. The law's after them, huh? That's right. Have you seen them, Mr... The name is Halstead. Have you seen them, Mr. Halstead? Yes, I seen them. What them want? Same thing you did, information. They asked the shortest route to Mexico, I told them, and they took off. I see. Uh, I don't like crooks, son. I hope you catch him. So do I. Adios. Mark those two, Stag. They're outlaws. They're out to get Ace and Windy. Any honest man could shoot them and be within his rights. And we're honest men. What do you think, Commissary? I think Halstead was lying, Tom. I noticed tracks in the yard leading north to the stagecoach road, not south to Mexico. What we do? We ride across country and try and pick up Martin's trail to the north. Let's go. Here comes the stage. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be.
last to you, Miss Annie. Come on, Toto. I'll look after the wounded man. Don't worry about my mask. I'm not going to rob you. You can put your hands down. Well, if this isn't the darndest day I've ever seen in my life. Can you give me a hand with the wounded man, please? Is he hurt bad? Very bad. All we can do now is to make him as comfortable as possible. Ace and Wendy have big lead, Kim Asabi. But me think them head for Halstead Ranch. This man dead? Yes. His name is John Digger. Whew. Look at all that money. And they just threw it away. You mean they looked in his wallet, then threw it away without taking his money? That's right. The man put up much of a fight? Mister, he didn't put up no fight at all. They shot him cold. Poor fellow never had a chance. No reason for it, far as I could see. But one of them searched him like he was looking for something. This maybe. Me see something fall after you shoot that man, Demas Army. Good work, Tuttle. If Ace and Wendy murdered a man to get these papers, they must be very important. Something bad, Kimisami? Very bad, Tuttle. These are plans for the political conquest of an entire area. But they're not complete. The first part of the plan is missing. Uh, maybe package Ace and Wendy pick up in Batesville. Yes, Tuttle. Now let me see him. Take cover, Tonto. Gunman, leave, Kimis Abbey. Feeling all right, old timer? I'll be all right. He just got me in the shoulder. Tonto, get some bandages from the saddlebag. Let's take a look at that wound. Now take it easy. We'll have you fixed up in a minute. While I'm doing this, Tonto, you might check over any tracks the gunman left. I sure want to thank you, mister, for I all... should be the one thanking you. I think that bullet was meant for me. There, how does that feel? Oh, couldn't be better. Think you can drive the coach? Sure. And I suggest you take the dead man into town and tell your story to the sheriff. Tell him we'll be in later with further information. The sheriff knows me. Give him this bullet. Adios. man, engine tonto, genuine silver bullet. Hey, I know you. You're the, well, my great aunt Annie. Gunman use rifle, Kimi Sabi. Me find cartridge shell. A rifle? That seems to eliminate Ace and Wendy. But not man who never speak. Man called Stag. Let's go, Tonto. Lucky, Miss Abbey. No trail show among hard rock. I don't think we'll need the trail anymore, Tuttle. Halsted's ranch is just a few miles away. The tracks have been leading straight to his ranch. But if Stag man who shoot at us, why him do it? I'm not sure, Tuttle. It may have been Stag's idea, or he may have been taking orders from Halsted. We go to ranch, talk to Stag? No, Tuttle. Stag is only part of this puzzle, and not a very important part at that. Remember, Ace and Wendy have already succeeded in their murder attempt. Uh. And them to stop coach after them talk to Halstead. Strange, isn't it? How all trails lead to Halstead. You think him man behind it all? I'm almost certain of it. A quick reading of these papers indicates that Ace and Wendy couldn't handle this proposed plan by themselves. They'll need someone with money and influence. Someone like Halstead, who has a great deal of power in this area. But how we get proof that Halstead mixed up in this, Kim Abbey? I think we'll let his own greed trap him. But we'll need the sheriff's help. 
I'll explain as we ride. This Aaron Burr really had it down pat, didn't he? I think you can see now, Sheriff, why men who would follow a plan like this must be stopped. Mister, I've worked with you before and I trust you all the way. But when you accuse a man like Halstead, when you say you want to bait a track for him and set it with these papers... If I'm wrong about Halstead, he won't send Ace and Windy for the papers. In that case, no harm will be done. Isn't that right? Yes. Well, I've trusted you before. I don't see any reason why I shouldn't trust you again. I guess i better start to put your plan into operation. It'll take about 20 minutes to get to Halston's place. I'll be back in an hour. Good luck, Sheriff. See you. Wait a minute. Wait for what? It's all over, son. Without the rest of the papers, your plan isn't worth the fire to burn it. And according to my ace marksman here, the masked man's got the missing half. When I think of all that lack. Well, maybe we could. Huh? What is it now? The sheriff. Get in the other room, quick. Well, sheriff. I haven't seen you in a turtle's age. Howdy, Mr. Halstead. Stag? Uh, what's on your mind, sheriff? Out chasing villains, are you? Not this time, sir. Matter of fact, it might be. I've already caught a couple. Oh? A masked man and an Indian. Picked them up just after the stage was stopped this morning. The stage? Uh, you hadn't heard about that, I guess. No. The passenger was murdered. Oh. Could the stagecoach driver identify the man you picked up? The driver was shot, too. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, attempted robbery, I suppose. Must have been. The masked man had a money belt in his possession. Nothing much in it but a bunch of old papers. I couldn't make head or tail of them, but uh, I've got them locked up in the top drawer of my desk. I figured they might come in handy at the trial. Yeah, very handy. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time, Mr. Halstead. I've just been going around telling all the ranchers about the masked man and the papers and all. I figured it might be a good idea if everybody in the area could come in sometime tomorrow and take a look at my prisoners. We might be able to hook them up with some past crime. Maybe even find somebody who can identify those papers we found. Yeah, excellent idea, Sheriff. Now you can count on me. Good. See you tomorrow, then. Yes, indeed. Are you thinking the same thing I am? I wouldn't be a bit surprised, Ace. Come on, come on, what's the delay? Just a minute. These are the papers, all right. Come on, let's get out of here. Wait, Halstead wants to make sure the sheriff's telling the truth, that he's really got the masked man. We haven't got time to waste I want to see he's in there for myself. Are you satisfied? What do you think you're doing? Now's our chance to get rid of him once and for all. You crazy? You want the whole town down on us? Come on, get out of here. I had him covered every second, but it still scared me. I uh, made ready too, Sheriff. I got the papers. What now? Well, I suggest you round up a posse and get out to the Halstead Ranch as soon as you can. Tonto and I will go ahead and see that no one leaves the house, and that Halstead doesn't get rid of the papers before you arrive. Right. So you're back, son, huh? Maybe you brought me something this time. Yes, huh? sir, Mr. Halstead. There they are. Now you got the whole plan. Yeah, 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 that's it. Picks up right where the other left off. Nothing can stop us now, can they, Mr. Halstead? With you as the boss and all of these papers, we're going to own the whole Arizona Territory. We, son? Yeah, yes, Mr. Halstead. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You're mistaken. What? Drop your guns. Drop them. Mr. Halstead, you wouldn't... Uh, I'm not happy about this, boy, to tell you the truth. But look at it my way. As you say, I got the whole plans. I just don't need you anymore. But, but listen, Mr. Halstead... Take him outside, Stag. But Mr. Halstead... Now, you boys just go along quiet. Suppose you try running. Might you could make it. Please, Mr. Halstead. Run for it. 
Well, if that's the best you can do, shoot him, boy! Hold him, Halstead. Now drop your gun. Don't, don't shoot! Don't shoot! I haven't got a gun! Outside. Well, I'm an old man. You, you, you wouldn't hurt an old man. No, I'm not going to hurt you. I don't expect the law to be so lenient. We'll wait for the sheriff. Tano, will get some rope. Well, uh, Halstead, it looks like you're going to spend quite a while in the territorial prison. Ace's confession makes it pretty clear that you were implicated in Digger's murder. You must have wanted those Burr papers real bad. Maybe. In a way, it's a pity that you never got a look at the last half of the plan. After going to all that trouble. And to think I had them right in my hands. Shall we tell him, mister? Might as well, Sheriff. Tell me what? If you'd taken a real hard look at those plans Ace stole from my office, you'd have found that every key piece of information had been removed. The stuff Ace brought you was worthless. What? That's right. The missing papers are still in my office, waiting to be dumped in the fire with the rest of the papers as soon as we get back. It's the mask man. It's all his fault. If he hadn't interfered, we still would have made it. There are a lot of criminals in jail saying those exact words, thanks to... Thanks to the Lone Ranger. Oh, <laughs> oh,